I already mentioned two important techniques, PERT or three-point estimate and Monte Carlo evaluation or simulation. In this session, I will introduce you to those methods. The first method, the three-point estimation method or PERT, and then the second part, the Monte Carlo analysis and evaluation. Don't worry, here we have some rather advanced statistical concepts, but it's just to show you what can be done with these tools. If you want to be more advanced in risk management, this is typically a part of our risk management courses. And in some cases, these methods are applied by companies around the world. PERT and three-point estimate. First, we identify the optimistic, probable and pessimistic duration of each task. There are some simple steps to follow. First of all, with those informations, we can calculate the duration and the standard deviation of every activity. From the standard deviations, we can calculate the variances, and the variances are equal to the square of the standard deviations. The variance of the path, the critical path, is the sum of the variances of all tasks. And from that path variance, we can calculate the standard deviation of the path by calculating or taking the square root of the variance. Depending on the different durations, we can calculate the z-scores, calculate the probability, and then draw the S-curve, which links duration and probability. Let's look at an example. We came to the end of the PERT, three-point, and Monte Carlo methods. The last thing we have to do is to evaluate what responses we can allocate to threats, opportunities, and both. So see you in the next session.